Bersua kembali bersama dengan saya Siti Zawawi dalam Beauty Tips. Atas permintaan ramai dari penonton Beauty Tips dari Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TVS untuk berkongsi tips tentang waxing. Dan kalau penonton nak tahu, waxing ni adalah salah satu cara ataupun teknik untuk menghilangkan bulu badan dengan jumlah yang banyak dengan menggunakan cairan khusus ataupun gula caramel yang telah pun dipanaskan. Tapi ramai lagi di kalangan kita ni takut nak waxing. Ah, sebab tu sekarang ni Siti berada di Brow Bar yang ada menyediakan servis waxing. Nak tunjuk dekat penonton ni sebenarnya waxing ni tak sakit mana pun. Kalau tak percaya, kita tanya sendiri dengan pemilik Brow Bar. Jom. Hai, sekarang ni Siti bersama dengan pemilik Brow Bar, Miss Ivy. Hai Miss Ivy, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Dan untuk mengetahui penonton, Brow Bar ni dia buka setiap hari dari pukul 11 pagi sampai pukul 8 malam. Tapi lepas MCO, dia buka by appointment only. So for Miss Ivy, for today's topic is about waxing. Mm-hmm. Unwanted hair affects our confidence to both men and women. Remove or groom any unwanted hair by choice to look good, feel good and to show off which makes them feel better when everything's so smooth. So Miss Ivy, we want to know, does it painful or hurt to do fast waxing, especially upper lip area and brow area? Okay, actually for the first time, right, you feel a bit short, but then actually it will less painful than you do threading. Oh, less painful than do threading. Yes. Okay, also Miss Ivy, shaving can brighten the look of our skin and helps with our makeup to look smooth and last longer. So would you suggest shaving other than waxing? Um, for me, I don't really suggest for shaving. Oh, why? Yeah, because shaving actually it will let the follicle to grow thicker and oh, healthy. Mm. Unhealthy for shaving. I mean like it's like grow thicker and healthy. Grow thicker. Ah, I see. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And shaving also simply get rid of our hair at the surface only. And that's why hair grows back quickly. And tweezing also remove hair as well. But after a couple of weeks, the hair will regrow. And even with tweezing, it's also uh, not good compared than waxing. So, um, how often we should do waxing to maintain it? Okay, for me, I would suggest everyone different because mm-hmm. four to six weeks for the maintenance for waxing. But then when you keep maintain, you can see the difference for the hair grow. You grow more fine okay. and slow. The grow with uh, the hair will grow more fine and slow. Yeah. Okay. So for customers want to do this service or want to do waxing, what kind of things they need to prepare beforehand for maybe to lessen the pain of waxing? Um, you just need to be ready. And then you just buff before come. Buff before come. Yeah. That's very important. Buff everywhere you go, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and um, um, what kind of services of waxing you offer here, other than face and body waxing? Okay, actually we are one stop beauty here. It's not just a brow bar. Mm-hmm. It's like um for facial, for mani pedi and lash. Wow, that's a lot. Mm-hmm. And I think the brow bar also start from 2018. Yes. Wow, mm. that's. Sama dah buka brow bar ni and berdekatan di jalan Emporium. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. So, you guys, if nak datang brow bar, boleh datang kat sini. Dekat je dari Petrajaya, dari bandar ke sini. And also, last but not least, what are the tips and advices for our viewers out there to get over their fear of waxing? Okay, beauty is pen, so mm-hmm. you just be ready and calm. So after that, you will like it. Yes, correct. Beauty is pain and if you done it quickly and correctly, it's not that painful. Dan kalau anda takut nak buat sendiri dekat rumah, anda boleh datang sendiri dekat Brava. Nanti ada tolong, ada pakar yang tolong buatkan untuk anda, ada Miss Ivy juga. Dan lepas ni, kita akan tengok cara-cara waxing dengan betul bersama dengan Miss Ivy. Tapi sebelum tu, kita berehat seketika. Kita berjumpa lagi selepas ini. Jangan ke mana-mana. First thing we're gonna do is okay. So we will put the cleansing oil. Okay. We'll clean up the makeup. To remove my makeup first mm. on yes. the upper lip. Yep. Here. Okay. Mm. <laughs> it's a bit warm. Mm-mm.
Oh my god! Dead. <laughs> okay. So you can see your hair here. Yeah. It's all with the akka. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can see? Let me show to the viewers. Boleh tengok kat sini, dari sampai akar dia cabut eh. Sakit sikit lah tapi okay. Only one second sakit. And then, dah cantik lah. Sini. Yes. So, another side. Yes. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is the second one. Boleh tengok kat sini. Nak terkeluar sikit air mata. <laughs> Uh, got almost my tears. <laughs> but uh, masa dia letak tu, uh, rasa sedikit warm, rasa sedikit panas. Tapi lepas dia, taklah panas sangat sebab kan uh, cairan khusus ni dipanaskan sebelum digunakan. Sebab tu dia rasa sedikit warm. And then dia letak cotton pad. And then tunggu few seconds, then you're gonna pull off. Pull off. Yeah. So this okay. one, which area? The middle. Middle. Yes. Don't worry. Just have a deep breath. Mm -mm. No pen or game, huh? Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, deep breath. Oh my god! Yep. <laughs> Is it okay? Okay, 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 okay. Wow. Untuk first time memang sakit lah. Ni first time Siti cuba waxing sebab tu a bit shock, a bit sakit. But after this, maybe after a few times I do waxing, it's okay already. Yep. Okay. Reminder, after waxing, try mm -hmm. don't get sweat okay. and no touching for today. Okay, no touching for today, alright? Yes. Okay. So, uh, next activity. So, we do for the brow. Okay. So, as usual, I'll do the cleaning first. Okay. Before I start, mm -hmm. do you use any... Do you use any retin-A, retinol or vitamin A? No. Do you use any antibiotic? No. Okay, how about like any medicine from doctor? No. Okay, good. Okay. Because before we start, mm -hmm. we need to prevent like customer peeling. Oh, okay. Yes. Alright. So you remove makeup first? Mm-hmm. Okay. So before I start, I will do the okay. mapping. You know about your brow? Oh, mapping first? Yep. Okay. For starting, we'll be set up the nose. Mm -hmm. You can see that your brow is not tuned. Yeah. Okay, one side higher a bit, one side lower. But the hair length is like going out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can see? Yeah. But starting to the arch, when you look straight. Yeah. Can see like not balanced. You see the arch here and here. Okay? okay. And then the arch to the end. This side higher, this side lower. Can see that? Yeah. Okay? So I'll just go with like natural arch okay. for you. Is it okay? No. Good? It's okay, yeah. You can see the hair? Yeah. Ini tak sakit berbanding dengan upper lip punya waxing tadi. Upper lip sakit lagi. It's okay. It's a bit warm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it okay? Yeah. I don't get don't don't use any shape in there. Masih dapat masih lagi nervous bila dia letak kat tempat tu, but I think after few times dah tak nervous lah. We won't double use lah, huh? Mm -mm. So for the hygiene.
cara-cara waxing dengan betul yang ditunjukkan oleh Miss Ivy. Dan apa yang menariknya tentang waxing ni, anda tak perlu pun lakukan setiap 2 ataupun 3 hari sebab bulu badan tak akan tumbuh seminggu selepas anda waxing. Dan apa tunggu lagi? Anda boleh cuba sendiri dekat rumah ataupun pergi ke spa berdekatan dengan anda. Okey, kita berjumpa lagi di episod yang seterusnya hanya dalam Beauty Tips setiap hari Jumaat jam 10.15 pagi hanya di TVS Saluran 122 Astro dan My Freeview. Bye, jumpa lagi.